Good day, award centers, award leaders, and participants. This video is to illustrate the role of an assessor for the participants as they go through their award cycle. An assessor plays a crucial role in the success of your Duke of Edinburgh Award program. Your role is to engage participants, offer guidance, mentor, and encourage as they undertake the various sections, skill, voluntary service, the adventurous journey, and physical recreation. You are also tasked with helping the participant to create their SMART goal. That is the goal that they would work towards as they are engaging in their individual activities, as well as the team component, which is the adventurous journey. As an assessor, you must be suitably experienced for the activity that you will be assessing. You have been vetted by the National Award Office. You have signed and agreed to the Volunteer Code of Conduct. You've been approved by the award leader. So as participants sign up for their activity, the award leader is also verifying that you're qualified prior to a participant starting their activity. Another role is you must understand the relevant Duke of Edinburgh Award requirements. That is time, how the participant engages and gives evidence of their engagement in the award. You will assist participants to identify the goal that they have set, assessing them and giving feedback along the way. You will help them to focus on their goal. Participants are not engaging in an activity just to do it, but to work towards a goal. You will help to ensure that the participant undertakes the section suitably in their own time, meaning not during their school time or attached to a school grade. Your role is more importantly to encourage and recognize the improvements a participant makes and record any positive comments when you sign off and verify their award. Upon completion of an activity, you will sign off, verify that the participant has completed, and send that to the award leader. Undertake your role as an assessor in a safe working environment, and this includes taking reasonable care of your own health and safety, that your conduct does not adversely affect the health and safety of others, that you comply with any reasonable instructions relating to health and safety, and finally, but not least, that you comply with any reasonable policy or procedure relating to health and safety that applies to you, your colleagues, people you are supervising. We appreciate your efforts as an assessor and the additional role that you have taken on. Thank you.